Harvey Weinstein, the disgraced film producer, was rushed to hospital, with doctors reportedly surprised that he is still alive. Weinstein, who is currently serving a 23-year sentence for rape, was admitted to Bellevue Hospital in Manhattan on April 26. His lawyer, Arthur Adler, said, they examined him and sent him to Bellevue. It seems like he needs a lot of help, physically. H has got a lot of problems. H is getting all kinds of tests. H is somewhat of a train wreck health-wise. Dr. Hinshelwood, director of a wellness practice on Hilton Island in South Carolina, spoke to the Mirror and said, I'm sure you know Harvey Weinstein has appeared extremely frail and in poor health for quite a while. Quite frankly, based on his appearance and extreme stressor, he is currently under I am surprised he is still alive at all. Regarding the shaved head, there's a few possibilities. The first and what I think is the most likely one is that his hair is either falling out or not growing well. He further explained, that is something that can occur with stress, advanced disease, states, poor nutrition, etc. So he may be shaving his head rather than appearing with big bald patches or extremely thin hair. Also, I'm not sure, whether or not H is still in custody. This could also be a lice issue. If there was a lice outbreak at the jail, they may have required all of the inmates to shave their heads. Harvey made his court appearance dressed in a deep navy suit, haired with a white button-up shirt. He accessorized his outfit with a blue tie and an American flag pin. The producer, who has a history of cardiac issues and diabetes, entered the courtroom in a wheelchair following his recent hospitalization. Despite his deteriorating physical health, his lawyer stated in early May that Harvey remains sharp as a tack. As sharp as he ever was. His attorney also mentioned that Weinstein is making the best of a horrible situation while maintaining his innocence. The court ruled that the judge at the landmark 2020 trial had prejudiced Weinstein with improper rulings. This led to the New York Court of Appeals decision to overturn his 2020 rape and sexual assault convictions.